Hey everybody, I've got some great news for all those that use Inbox and rely on the Trips feature. Um, currently, Inbox by Gmail does not offer a mechanism to create a new trip manually. It's only generated by the system. However, with the help of uh, another user, I've learned how you can create a manual trip. It's a little technical, but I'm gonna give you easy instructions and links to files to create it. First thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go and create a script. And you're gonna to go to script.google.com and it's gonna default here with an untitled project, code.js, you're gonna leave that. You're gonna name it, whatever, I'm gonna name it manually, create trip, create trips. Okay, and it's saving that project for you. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to create the initial code. And you're going to take a file that I will put links at the bottom for you in the description for a code.js. And you're going to copy the content of that file into this code.js and hit paste. And it has some information that we'll go through in a few minutes. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit File, New, and you're going to hit HTML file. You're going to name the first one that we create, Flight, and hit OK, and you'll see there's a new flight. And you're going to do that two more times. One more for Hotel, and one more for Auto Rental. I have not figured out how to do this for um, train tickets, but maybe that'll come at a future time. So first thing we're going to do is you'll see a link to a file type called flight HTML, and you're going to open that up, and you're going to copy the contents, and you're going to paste it. And you're going to do that for each one. I have a file type for each one that you could use. And first thing you're going to want to do is, and you want to do this periodically, is hit Save All. <clears throat> now that you have it saved, you're going to come in to your flight HTML. And this is just to get the trip created, and we'll take care of other things a little bit later. You're going to put the flight number in. You're going to put the name of the airline and you're going to make sure you put the proper airport code for each look, each airport. Um, and you can look that up and I'll have a link for that. It's the IATA code lookup uh, and I'll, I'll provide a link. You're gonna do that for the departure and for both of those, you're gonna change the date. So this is the year, the month and the day and you'll put in the appropriate times here, 8.15 to 8 o'clock, or it's 20.15 to 8 a.m. is what's there. And there's the arrival times, you're going to change that. Put some stuff in here, just leave that generic. If you already have the information for your hotel, uh, don't forget you're going to need the flight reservation number up here as well. For your hotel, you're going to do if you have a reservation number, you're gonna put it there. Leave all this. You're gonna put the name of the hotel. You're gonna put the address, street address, locality, region, uh, the postal code, and fill in all that information. If you have a telephone number, put, there you have it. Um, auto rental, similar, similar stuff. You have the reservation number. Put in the details of the kind of car that you have, who it is, what company it is, the name of the uh, location, postal address information if you have it, the time you, date and time you're picking it up, and again, location for the drop off, date and time for the drop off, date and time for the drop off. Oh, sorry, pickup time, drop off time. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back, make sure you hit save all. 
now that you've created all these files, you're going to come here and make sure we're going to start with flight and you're going to change the from file here and you're going to click flight. You're also going to make sure that the subject flight confirmation, Oslo, Norway, so you know it was a flight. You're going to hit save all and you're going to go hit run. If this is the first time you're running this, it's going to ask you for permission. What that does is it's sending an email from your script under your login to your email account. So there's nothing to worry about for security. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to change the now for hotel. You use the information that you put in the hotel and you're going to change this subject to hotel confirmation for Oslo. And you're going to hit save all again and run it to send an email. And then you can do it one more time for auto rental, assuming you have a rental car in that trip. And you'll change this and you'll put car rental confirmation. Hit save all and run. Now, when you come to your email, you'll see three emails that you received from yourself with cards. And you're going to wait a few minutes and they will eventually create into a trip with the flight, the hotel, and the car. So I waited a couple minutes and now you see I have a trip created. I did nothing other than wait. And you open it up and you'll see I have the flight. You can see the details of the flight. I have the car rental and the details of the car rental. And I have the hotel and the details of the hotel. And all those emails that I sent are here. Now you can take any emails that you have and you can move them to that trip. So if it didn't create a trip initially, now you can add this and have all of everything, all the emails related to that trip bundled together. I hope this helps you. Hope you find it ex as exciting as I do. Um, please remember to share it, subscribe to my channel, ask anything you need to in the comments, and please look in the description for all of the files that you will need. Thank you.